hello friends today in this tutorial we will be looking at the advanced javascript tutorial and in this tutorial i'll be showing you how to access global variables in javascript how to declare them and how to access them and i will also be showing the difference between uh, the local variables and global variables so how to declare first of all the global variables so this is a simple index.html file here you will see and we all need to just concentrate on the javascript part here so just declare script tag and here first of all guys uh, in order to declare a global variable here inside your javascript project or in the browser we use a window keyword or global this keyword so these are the two keywords by which we can declare global variables so let's suppose for example we declare a keyword by where a is equal to 5 so basically we have declared a variable by the where keyword here this thing needs to be noted here so you need to be declare your variable by where keyword and now to access this this is kind of a global variable that we have declared here so this is not present inside a function here so this is not a local variable so now to access this we can console log by its variable name that's it so if i check my console here if i right click go to inspect element and go to console you will see this is our uh, 5 is printed out so this is the first way to access this global variable and uh, now to access through window object this is very much simple we will use the window keyword window and basically if you just console log window here you will see this uh, window object here so all the objects which are all the methods and variables which are built in inside this window object you can just see how many variables how many methods are there so basically the alert statement that you use inside your browser if you just see this is an alert statement hello world so basically if you use this statement you can also use this because this is also present inside this window object so you can see this is the alerts method here you can also see this method here like this if you refresh it so this is the alert method which is present here so basically you can also uh, see this and instead of writing like this you can also write this like this also which is window dot alert this is you can just provide your implementation this is hello so it will work the same like this you can ever before you can see because it is present inside this window object so all the methods which you can see inside this window object you can use like this also like this window dot alert window window that so basically window here represents the global scope out there so it represents you can also now access simply window dot a and simply if you just console comment this line and it will console log 5 to you you can just see so basically this key this variable which is declared using this var keyword is referencing to as a global variable so now you can access it in any function let's suppose we declare a function here hello and basically this is a local scope out there so basically if i use console log uh, uh, a here so this comes out to be undefined because we cannot use uh, uh, this variable inside this function because it's a global variable so if i just console log here um, if i call this function hello so basically what will happen now is that if i also comment this line also so you will see it will display 5 to you because uh, this is a global variable you can access global variables in inside any sort of function but let's suppose there is a situation like this you also have a variable like this with the name of a which has a value of 15 because now this this is a local variable so this is overriding this value so now this will print 15 not it will not print 5 it will print 15 because it's a local variable so now you can just see this result which is printing out 15 here so this is kind of a local variable the difference between uh, lo local and global variable local variables are declared inside a function and global variables are declared outside outside a function and now to access this value here inside this function we can simply use window dot a so now this will reference the global variable you can see this is referencing this global variable so this is the first way by which you can declare global variables with the help of window object you can also access those global variables using window 
and uh, now I will show you some more keywords by which you can access it so basically uh, you can declare a console log window and uh, this also means you can console log like this uh, self also self also represents the same thing then we got another keyword such as frames frames also represent the same thing then we got one other name which is called as I think it is called as uh, this so these are the four keywords by which you can reference global variables in, inside JavaScript first is window that I shown you again there is a self variable frames and this and I can also let me declare using var keyword here so basically I can cross check also so basically if you just see window dot a self dot a then we got frames dot a then we got uh, our this dot a so both all the four statements will will, ref, will print out five to you because it is referencing global variables okay? five 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 so it, it all contains the window object so this is just a name you can reference it using window self frames this depending upon you which statement that you write so this is a standard way by which you can access global variables inside javascript and uh, there is also a new keyword which is added right now guys which is global this this is a new keyword which is added here global this with the help of this you can also access the same thing like this you can see five is printed out so this is a new statement this is a new keyword which is added to the es6 javascript here you will see global this if you just console log it you will see it again contains same amount of methods alert here so you can call any method on this let's suppose you can just call anything it totally depends upon you can see so this is the way by which you can declare global variables and the uh, if you just declare your variables like this let a is equal to 6 and const is equal const b is equal to 5 so basically you cannot access uh, uh, a global variable by these keywords so this these are not global variables which are declared using let and const keywords so basically if you try to print out these this will not work so basically what you will do if you just print out this so it will say to you undefined because these are not global variables you cannot access them using window object as simple as that you also can't access b also because this is a constant variable this is not a global variable so in this case also it will be coming out to be undefined so global variables are only declared using var keyword this is the main thing to notice here only var keyword is declared is used to declare global variable so if you declared using let and const keyword these are not global variables these are not you cannot access them globally and one other thing guys if you declare this uh, function here this is an anonymous function and now if you try to access this inside this uh, <laughs> this window object inside this this will not work this will come to comes out to be <coughs> sorry window object will be perfectly fine here but if you try to access this keyword this is this will come out to be undefined this you can see here so if you de just declare your variable var a is equal to 5 so basically this is a global variable if you try to access this here this dot a so you will see this will come out to be 5 is not a function so these are some of the concept guys on how to declare global variables and, uh, and local variables i hope that you like this video and i will be seeing you in the next video